my creatives and welcome to another video. Today I want to share this accordion book flip through and case I made for it. Uh, but first of all I want to start off with something else. I want to thank you all so much for watching my video so much and leaving me so many comments. I mean I'm, I'm sp uh, yeah, speechless. I'm just amazed and overwhelmed and Thank you all so so much. I'm so incredibly grateful for all of your lovely comments and I'm wow. So um, I have received so many comments. I'm behind on answering all of them. I am going to answer all of them because that is what I do. But with my current situation in my life, I need a little bit more time to do so uh, because <laughs> there's so many and I'm so so grateful. Uh, but yeah, my life is a big roller coaster at the moment and. Uh, I don't always have the brain capacity to write something back, so and I want to, you know, write something back to ev everyone. So um, at least thank you all so so much um, for your lovely lovely comments. They really really make me happy, and uh, I don't know, I can't explain it. So um, yeah, I'm getting a little bit emotional. But let's move on. I also loved what Margaret her video uh, with the grid journaling. Thank you so much, Margaret, and. Uh, Wow. Okay, I'm stop going to stop talking and I'm going to share this project with you. So I created this project as well as the other book in the time period that I wasn't doing so great and crafting really put me through. And this is actually inspired by By Bar Paper Lover, Barbara from By Bar Paper Lover, and uh, I will link her down below. And I believe she was inspired by Shabby Soul which I will also leave down below for you so you can check it out. Uh, but I watched uh, Barbara her video first and I thought, yes, I have to create something like it. And I think you can see a lot of inspiration from, from Barbara in my project because she also loves the grunge and uh, the, lots of details in my work. Now, the case is inspired by Margaret and she had created a video with pouches with a window. And of course, this is from Gone to Be. As you can see, this is inspired by Gunter B. Um, so yeah, I decided to create a case for this uh, book because it's a very... Uh, I don't know how to say it. You will see it. So first of all, I have used for the base of everything Victoria Designs Aromatic Herbs Digital Kit. I will also leave that down below for you in the description box. And that's the base for everything. So for the box, I used that kit and I created that. I also used some book pages and some tape. I created my own and I used Distress Oxide Sprays to grunge everything up and just regular Distress Oxides and is spraying it with water to create the oxidation effect. So this is the case for my uh, book and this is acetate dyed with alcohol inks. Now you can carry it like this and I put some breads in here and then you open this one up and when you open it up you can open it up here of course and then I have also um, decorated the inside and I put this burlap ribbon across so you don't see the breads anymore and I put of course I use some Tim Holtz stuff now you can take out this little booklet. So this is the uh, book accordion book journal, I'm going to call it. And then this is the box without the journal inside. So I also decorated on the inside that if you put, uh, if you take the journal out, it would still look nice on the inside of this little box. Then. If we go to the journal, it is a very interactive journal with a lot of details. So this is the front cover, or it doesn't really matter because if you turn it around, it also has a front cover because it's somewhat of a never ending book. Uh, so I put here a charm and then I created a journal card behind this frame and you can take that out. I did some stamping on the back, put an eyelet in uh, one of the Tim Holtz paper dolls. And you can slide this back in underneath the frame. Uh, I used lots of uh, doilies and fabrics and stuff and metal pieces. Then this is the first page and on the first page I created a belly band and this is a um, from a book but most of it is digitals from the kit from Victoria Designs. And then there is this 
mini journal that I have created. So this is one original ephemera piece uh, that already had folds in it and I just refolded it uh, because, well, this is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Uh, and I just tucked it in here. So with the other stuff, it makes some nice decoration, but I can still, you know, enjoy its full glory. And then on this side, I also, of course, added some Tracy Fox labels because we love Tracy Fox. And Tim Holt stamps, I did some sewing. And then I also created this little journal. So I have a story for this little journal. And the story is that this was a journal from a lady who collects herbs and plants. And she also documented a little bit of her life. So this is the lady. This is one of Tim Holtz's ladies. And um, so I pretended that it was this was journaling and that she collected things in this mini journal. I did some semic writing. So this is my own writing but illegible and I made it illegible on purpose because I wanted to have the journaled look uh, but I didn't want to journal anything then this is a page that this is one of the labels I created following Margaret her video and all these details that it is so detailed is inspired by by bar paper lover because this is what she loves to do here's one of the pieces that I stuck in now the paper ripped so I just added some of the tape that I colored myself to make sure that it would not rip out. These are images from uh, Victoria Designs that I added in here, or these are. And um, yeah, some beautiful vintage papers. Then here, some more semic writing. And then this is the last page. So it's a journal inside a journal. Then on this side we have a windowed envelope that I covered with washi tape and I alcohol dyed the screen. And then I created a tab, you can open it up. And then I created an identification card. Of course this is also very much inspired by uh, Margaret and by Bar Paper Lover. And I put this on the back so you can take this out because here's a mini paper clip. And I love the sewing here. Uh, because this is one big strip and then I added some decorations so if you take this out there's something underneath then we close it up and then we turn it around and then here is another page with a pocket from the Victoria Designs kit and you can take out these two envelopes so this also runs through and these two envelopes are handmade, so I created them myself with stamps, some craft paper and uh, distress oxide. And I wanted to make them look like she got these um, letters and then she received a collectible card. And I did some dictionary on the back and circled something and wrote a note. And then I created my own letter. So this is using a stamp and a signature stamp and Sam Poole stamps uh, to create, uh, like this was a letter sent to her. So this is in the first envelope. Uh, I also used, of course, a lot of Tim Holt stamps <laughs> because I love him and I love his stamps. And then this one is uh, pretty much the same. So I used the same name. This is her name and this name is also on the identification card, her signature here. Uh, so I decided that this was Miss Sila Silo, I don't know. Um, which one did I show you? I think this one. Um, yeah, so this is the other one, also stamped something on the back. And then in here is the same, uh, also a card. And I put something on the back, wrote there something, and made this as a letter. So it was really fun to create uh, this as a story, something as a story, and to figure out how I could create ephemera matching that story. Uh, so it was really fun to go through my supplies and find stuff that would fit the theme. And what I really love about this project is that you have so many layers from all the different pages. Now on this side, this is a card I found in a thrift store. So I just stuck it on here, made it into a pocket and put in one of the cards the same way. 
Then to the next page, uh, I created a tuck spot with one of the labels I created following Margaret Hurt tutorial. And then I added in two tags. So this is the page on its own. And then I created these two tags and they both have beautiful vintage images from a vintage book and some Tracy Fox labels, of course. And on the back side, there is the paper from Factoria Designs and, you know, some uh, stamping and tape. So you can put these in here. Then on this side is another belly band, also from the Factoria Designs kit. This is from a vintage book. And then I stuck in this card from Tim Holtz, this fresh card, and I grunged it up. And I like this one because it says gather and explore. And I think that is what this journal is about. Then I created a mini booklet. And this booklet is made with paper from Factoria Designs and different kinds of stamps. And then on the inside, these images are book images. So these are from original books that I have thrifted. So I created my own, yeah, how do you call it? Little journal, flip out, card, specimen thingy, which I also grunged up. And that lives in here. Then next page. Oh, this is also a fun page. Uh, so this was a journaling card from Factoria Designs and I added it in as a tip-in. So if you open it up, you see this and uh, I created a tab and a beautiful collage on this side. And then in this pocket, we have our first specimen slide and I used book images for the inside. And this is the back and I really, really grunged them up with some distress oxides. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun to do so. And then this is the pocket. This was already in the Factoria Designs kit and I just added some stamping. So this goes in here. Then on this side we have a flip up and this is one of Tracy Fox her from the botanical kit slides and you can flip it up. And if you flip it up this is what you see. I added acetate that I colored myself and I did some stamping and then a collage on the inside from a book page and um, yeah, some Factoria Designs paper. Now, I didn't realize that you would see this because this was my first time I interact with book and this is still white. Uh, I left it like that because I think it's something that I learned and I could color it later on if I would like. But this is why the back side is white because this is a Tim Holtz die cut. And then this is the back cover, also new front cover. <laughs> and I used some metal pieces. You can also take out this card and then you get this beautiful image from Factoria Designs. Uh, same here, some Tim Holtz and I also stamped here on the back. Now if you would like you could not do stamping and journal if you would like. But I'm, I don't know, journaling isn't really my thing at the moment. I can't find the words or concentrate to write. Uh, so just creating these beautiful things really helps me and le in learning that you don't always have to write on everything. Um, so yeah, then you open it up the other side. And this is so cool because this is the flip out tip in from the other side and you see that through that and I really, really love the look. So on this side we have a pocket <coughs> and in this pocket we also have another specimen slide created in the same way. And then here we have the Tim Holtz slot die, which I really wanted for such a long time. And I finally got it for myself. So I had, of course, to use it in this journal. And it fit perfect on this page because this is one strip of paper with ripped pieces of paper. The pages vary in height, as you can see here. Uh, so it fit in perfectly here. So I just added in some of these Factoria Designs images and backed them with my own uh, craft paper and stamping and such and I added in some Tim Holtz tickets so you can remove all of these and they are all similar because I like to do that create somewhat of a cohesive look in a project with lots of details so this is also the same and you can also of course take out the tickets then next page I thought this would be the lady who inspired her um, so she took a photo of her and put it in her journal and then I added some doily 
uh, in the background for some added texture. And then on this side we also have another pocket. In this pocket we have another specimen slide and uh, also created in the same way. I really really love the grungy, grungy look. And then this one uh, I got in a order, a Instagram order I did, and uh, the person added this as well. And I thought, wow, that would so be so great in this journal. So I added that in here. Then the next page, um, I pretended that this was her husband and her later on in life. So she created a page for her and her husband with a another doily. And then on this page, we also have another folio um, flip out thingy made from an envelope. Uh, so this is a windowed envelope cut down to size and I use some alcohol inks and some papers. Then if you open it up, uh, this is what you see. I love the Tim Holtz snippets. Then I created a big envelope from a book page. So I have books with these beautiful images and these are so detailed that I don't want to fussy cut them. So I try to find ways where I can use them as they are, but not just as a page. So I made a, an envelope out of this and you can open that up. And then this is the other side of the envelope with also a beautiful image. And then inside the envelope, um, also love, love, love this because everything is beautifully printed. I put in a piece of map and I grunged it up and circled things with some Islamic writing, pretending that she has been here to discover some plants uh, or stuff. And I also did that on this side. Now, this is just from a regular book. I just tore out this image. Uh, as you can see here, this is still some text, but I thought I didn't mind this. Also, I didn't want to rip into this. So she also, um, circled some things where she wanted to go for herbs or did find something. And uh, this is also a tag created from a book page. And uh, on the back, I added the same paper I already did on the other tags. And I just added some stamping, some grunging, uh, but this is just a book page image. And it was fun to use this corner rounder. I just got this and I thought it would be fun to use it. So this goes in here. Then uh, on this side, we have a card from the Factoria Designs and I had some burlap stuff over and I thought it would be fun to put it in here because of the texture in this journal and the natural flow of it. I thought it would be fun if it would stick out a little bit. Then some Tim Holtz washi tape for the tip in. And then you turn it around and we are at the beginning again of my book. And then if you would like, you can start it all over again. So this was a really, really fun project to work on. It had lots and lots of details, um, absolutely inspired by Barbara. I, I had so much fun creating this ephemera, creating all these pieces and finding them. And uh, I really, this is the first time I made a book like this and I absolutely love that it's so irregular and things are sticking out and it's, it's so you want to touch it and see everything. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found some inspiration for your own journal or maybe for your own accordion book. And uh, yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, bye.